Howdy, folks. So today is going to be a, uh, a test of the of two ELRS uh, receivers, uh, both made by Beta Beta FPV, and one of them is the sm they're both for really small. It's, uh, they're the light receivers. One of them has the little flat ceramic antenna on it that everyone has told me several times that uh, that it's a piece of junk. Um, when I bought it on the Race Day Quads website, it showed that the they had come out with the V1.1 ceramic antenna and that it was better, uh, better than the one they had before. So that's that's what I bought originally. Um, and since then, like I've said, people have told me that the first one was like absolute junk, and then the second one's mostly junk. Uh, the second version. Now, in my experience, I, running around the circle, you know, where I do my uh, kind of distance uh, penetration tests. Um, it's made it, it, it can't make it if I'm running at 250 Hertz, but it will make it at, uh, 50 Hertz. It'll make it all the way around, but it does lose telemetry in that, at that point, And it kind of, it gets really low and, and Amber is complete, is telling me, uh, that, it, that it's getting low that, you know, may, I think, I'm not sure if she ever says critical, but it's definitely low, um, RSSI or link quality, uh, just using that with 50 Hertz. Uh, so I bought the one that's the tower antenna, uh, and people said it's a lot better. Um, so as far as I was concerned, basically I, it worked, the other one worked fine for me for my purposes, maybe on the edge a little bit, so, you know, a little bit out of my comfort zone, whenever I'm pushing, pushing the distance on the video, uh, the, the, the link was kind of on the edge. So, um, as for, you know, so to me, that one's adequate. Uh, maybe not quite, but so this other one compared to what everybody says about the, the, the flat ceramic, this other one with the tower better be phenomenal. <laughs> and what I found, I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you right now, even before you see the results, it, it is phenomenal. It is pretty, it is really good. Um, the other one's adequate the other, and this one is great, uh, with the tower on it. So that's, uh, this, this right here, you can see a little tower poking down right there. I don't know if you'll be able to see it in the video or not, but it's uh, a little, you know, a little bigger. Uh, if you're installing it on a, on a smaller drone, uh, take up a little more room, probably wouldn't be that great on like a Whoop or anything like that. Of course, I found since then that for Whoops, I'm just gonna use an all-in-one board that has the LRS already built onto it. So I, I really don't have that much use for the flat ceramic antenna anymore. Uh, for this drone here, this will probably be my test bed for doing antenna tests for the video. Uh, so running uh, that, that antenna, the, the tower antenna, uh, at, even at 250 hertz, I can make it all the way around the circle. Now, granted, right now, the leaves have fallen off the trees. Don't use this test against any of the other tests uh, that I have done around the circle. Uh, even the video right now doesn't get below 10 megabit going around the circle because it, right, right around the beginning of January, we had a hard freeze and all the trees lost their leaves. So it's a lot easier for me to get around the circle right now, but it's still a pretty good test. It still causes the, the link to drop a, a good ways. Um, so I can still do comparisons with it. Uh, one other thing, uh, different on my transmitter, got this antenna. Uh, the main reason I got that is just because it was a stocking stuffer whenever I got lighter springs on my, on my gimbals. I ordered from Radio Master on the slow boat, so you gotta kinda make it worth your while. So threw that in the, threw that in the shopping cart. Um, I don't know if it helps or not. Anyways, and it's, the other one, I kept having problems with it coming loose and, you know, it's floppy. So anyways, there's not nothing big about that antenna. It's just, just something that's different. Um, yeah, so what you'll notice, I go around the circle uh, in the upper left-hand corner of this video. Uh, the uh, it will be the 50 hertz with the ceramic flat antenna. Um, so I go around the circle with that and it blinks a little bit. It goes down to like, is it in the 60s on link quality, I think? Um, and, then the, and then the next one to the right of that is the uh, the tower antenna on 50 hertz, and it barely drops. It doesn't get below 90. It's like 92, somewhere somewhere in the low 90s on link quality. And then I go around again at 250 hertz with the uh, tower antenna, and it drops down. It's not as low as the ceramic antenna on 50, but it's it drops pretty far down, but it's still plenty usable. And on 200, 250 hertz is pretty good. So anyways, I uh, hope you all enjoy that. I may kind of overlap this video a little bit uh, with with the footage. We'll see how it turns out uh, so that you're watching the footage and not, not just wasting your time. All right, see you later.